imagine. Welcome back to the Touchline here on Y254. We are still enjoying ourselves. It is during the COVID-19 pandemic, but also it's a time when we have to discover new things and new frontiers that are happening in the world of sports. Right about now in this segment, we are going to talk about Safari Rally. But this time around, it is not the usual Safari Rally that everybody talks about and knows about. This is another one that has actually changed the momentum of the Safari all over again. Now from the road to online. It's all about e-racing. And joining me here in studio to talk about e-racing here in Kenya, we have got the organizer of e-racing safari rally here in Kenya, Riaz Ismail, on my father's left. And then on the center here, I've got an e-racing driver here in Kenya by the name of Joseph Leshan. Joseph, welcome to Y254. Are you happy to be here? I am ex extremely happy to be here and it's an honor to be here. Yeah. Yes. You're a big love of cars and safari rally. Yes, I am. And I've been since a very young age. Uh -huh. And um, once this e-racing started, I saw it as a good opportunity to be able to come into motorsport, uh -huh. both on the e-racing side and once motorsport is back to normal, yeah. hoping to be able to get into it properly. Welcome to Y254. We are going to be engaging you more. And we have also Riaz Ismail here in studio with us. Riaz, from the Safari Rally terrains, now you are here in studio to talk about e-racing. First of all, tell us, what is e-racing? Um, thank you. Thank you for this interview, first of all. Yeah. Well, e-racing is an online platform that uh, I have developed with my friend, stroke partner, stroke brother called Kayum Shiraz in Mombasa yeah. where basically how this whole idea came up is you know ever whenever when this pandemic started back in March yeah. so a lot of people were just confined within our home environments we've got a lot of people having playstations computers uh, xbox yeah. you know rather than them playing violent games we have this game called Dirt Rally 2.0. Mm -hmm. That was um, that's a game that you can buy it on CD or download it. Yeah. And there were international competitions that were taking place mm -hmm. from in in all around the world. Yeah. And um, I've been playing a couple since last year and all that, mm -hmm. but uh, there was no such competition that was being done in Africa or specifically here in Kenya. Yes. So I started playing and I invited Kayum back in uh, March to, to, you know, we can play together online mm -hmm. and we used to enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then this idea came up that why don't we do something for Kenya and, and, and for Africa as well. Yeah. Uh, we continued playing, we registered our own race net club mm -hmm. that, you know, we can invite players to play. We, ha we held about three, four championships. You know, we started off with 30 people, then it went to 50, then 60, 70. And then to our surprise, the, the organizer of the real safari rally, yeah. the clerk of the course, mm -hmm. Mr. Gurveer Babra, mm -hmm. he, he started racing with us as well. Yeah. And um, then, in, then in, in June, I think he had an e-racing e seminar <coughs> with one of the FIA e-racing directors mm -hmm. where they, they talked about FIA's involvement and how to encourage the youth into e-racing because you see e-racing is a very cheap way into getting motorsport. Mm -hmm. You don't have to invest in a real rally car. You know, you just buy the game, buy the CD, as long as you've got a working mobile connection or even mm -hmm. a Wi-Fi, you yeah. can play it. And just as how you, you need to learn how to fly an helicopter or an aircraft, mm -hmm. you need to have, go through the simulation mm -hmm. you know, process and that's the same thing about rally cars. Yeah. Because in this game you will learn about car handling, mm -hmm. there are about almost 30, 30 to 35 cars, each car. Uh, handles differently in a different surface. Yeah. You know, we've got different different stages from tarmac to ice mm -hmm. to um, gravel stages, wet, dry. Mm -hmm. So it, and then you also learn how to listen to your co-driver mm -hmm. because rallying is also about listening to the guy seated next to you. Mm -hmm. So Goovy guys approached us. We wanted to do this. Uh, then we launched e-racing, and Goovy mm -hmm. guys approached us and said, you know, hey, we are Safari Rally organizers. Mm -hmm. Since the the WRC Safari has been postponed, can we do something? over that we can. Yeah. 
Um, obviously, time was a bit short, but we still managed to put up like a proper competition where we, we set out a couple of rules, yeah. regulations had to be followed. Before, before we, t we talk about the components of the game and everything, I, I want to understand from Joseph. Um, Ria has talked about it is like the safari rally, it's actually like the WRC, it's exactly the same thing and everything. Is the in, in enthusiasm of you as a driver getting to e-racing up onto that level when, when you get to play it yourself online? Yes, it mm. is actually mm. the same. Yeah. Because when you see your name next to the names of most top drivers in the <laughs> rally scene, yes. it boosts your it like it boosts your morale a lot. Mm. And you keep on wanting to drive more and more. Mm. And um that so I'm I myself and I'm sure most of the other drivers mm -hmm. who did the first e race in Safari Rally yeah. are waiting for another one from the organizers. Just if you actually joining this conversation here on the touchline, we are talking about e-racing. Before we go on with this interview that we are having here on set, let's play you a video of Joseph Gashesha himself being on the e-racing platform and I was performing with this car. into four right long Titans, into keep left of a crest, caution 30, five right long Titans, three of a crest. The 60, for the narrow bridge, four right, into five left of a crest, very long Titans, opens, into six rights of a crest, 30, five left, 30, Five right, Titans three long. Into four left of a crest. Thirty. Four right long of a crest. Into five left of a dip to jump. Thirty of a bumps to long crest. Thirty. Five left. Into five right long Titans. Into five left of a crest. Into five right. And flat left, 60, flat of a jump maybe, 100, turn, square right, tarmac. 30, right left of a crest, into four right, opens of a crest, into three left, tightens two, into two right long, into three left long of a crest, Right long, into six left, opens of a jump maybe, into flat right, 30, five left, extra long of a crest, to flat through grid, and big jump, 200, tarmac, four right long tightens, to gravel, into three left long tightens, into four right long, deep crest, Joseph, one of the questions that is coming out is now explain to us how you get onto that car. What is the criteria of having such a car in the rally? Um, so as Riaz previously explained, yeah. the game has about 30 to 35 cars mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah. And for this uh, e-safari rally, yeah. they had set uh, the vehicle class as an mm -hmm. R5 car. Mm -hmm. And so it was up to you which R5 car you wanted to drive. And once you chose that car, yeah. it's your setup. Mm -hmm. So most of the people who are playing yeah. actually had practice hours before. Uh -huh. And they were already quick in the game. Yeah. 
So I would say, as you asked what the criteria mm -hmm. would be, there's not really one because it ranged from the beginners to the professionals uh -huh. best in the world. Yes. So it was just mostly where you came out at the end mm -hmm. and where you classed within the top drivers. Uh, as we go on, explain to us what is an R5 car. So an R5 rally car yeah. is um, a new generation rally car which is uh, much lighter than a uh, standard rally car, which is still used here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So if you go in the world scene, mm -hmm. an R5 rally car is seen as not much of a car. Yeah. But uh, they are still yeah. what every driver here wants to drive. Okay. But in because of things like budget mm -hmm. and cost to run the car, yeah. not everyone can afford to drive an R5 car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Riaz, now, Give us the requirements of the game of e-racing. Um, there are no requirements as long as you've got a PC uh -huh. a play or a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox and you just either buy the game or you download it online. Mm -hmm. Buying the game or downloading it online, it's an official game by Codemasters. Mm -hmm. It costs about about in terms of Kenya shillings, about 4,000 Kenya shillings, mm -hmm. that's all. Then you can go to our website, www.eracing.co.ke. Mm -hmm. you, you register yourself yeah. and uh, that's how we started Safari. We actually yeah. had about 250 confirmed entries wow. and about another 150 that we couldn't accept because mm -hmm. they got late in registering. Yeah. And to our surprise, you know, Kenya was the lead was leading uh, in the entry list. We had about 118 entries from Kenya. All Kenyan drivers. Yes, yeah. it's not real rally drivers, but yeah. Kenyan, I would say gamers uh -huh. that or actually Kenyan play. Gamers, yeah. Yeah. We had a team from Madagascar that that were about eight 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 drivers, mm -hmm. and to the surprise of many, yeah. they finished. All eight drivers finished in the top ten, mm -hmm. including. Um, they, 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 number one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. seven and eight all went to the Madagascans. The guy, in fact, who won the race uh, is called uh, Adritiano Matthew. He's a 19-year-old he's boy from Madagascar. Yeah. He's ranked as the fourth best sim racer in the world. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was a personal pride to have him you know, compete on our e-safari stages. Yeah. You know, look, looking at everything that is happening at the moment and the, in the gaming industry itself, uh, doing my research in the morning and it's estimated to be over 650 billion dollars in the world at the moment. You've got one, some of the elite universities in the world having their students develop some of these games, uh, some of their students go outside there to go and play these games. What kind of opportunities are in this industry? The opportunities, see, I would not talk about any, any, any particular game, I would just talk about this game. Yes, this because one, for yeah. example, if, if I'll give you the example of Joseph, for example, yeah? yeah, if he wants to start rallying right now, he would minimum require about one million shillings. Mm -hmm. That will include buying a car, buying his own personal kit, you know, uh, entry fee and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then uh, money for even maintaining that car and everything. Now here with the game, he will have the same experience just because this game is so real. It's, yeah. it's actually a virtual game yeah. whereby you can actually feel the, the kickback in the steering. You know, you can feel the G-force as you're you are driving the car, if you're using the steering wheel, you know. Yes. And uh, so even in Europe at the moment, in Kenya as well, we've got the likes of Karan Patel, uh -huh. you know. Uh, he, he spends a lot of time playing this game because yeah. it gives him practice in real life rallying as well. So any oh, young okay. generation that's coming up, yeah. this is a easier way, cheaper way to start getting into rallying, to know the rules about rallying, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to know how, how to drive a car, how to, under, how to understand the notes, okay. um, how to set up your rally car and everything. Mm -hmm. Joseph, with your peers and with your young colleagues when you are playing this game, when you are playing the game, when you are enjoying yourself with the game, what do you get from the game? Um, I would say myself, because I'm still in the club of driving with a controller yes. and not on the level of the other big guys who are driving um, with simulators. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that for me, I'm doing it for fun right now. But uh, once I'll get into it with the simulator, I could then say that it's um, to practice for the real thing. Yeah. Yes. And then, 
we were talking uh, off of the record about the stages that you selected in the game and everything now take us through the organization of the whole event that you had until you had the winners how did it come to happen well, we started the the safari is always three days yeah. so we started midnight to midnight each day we selected nine stages nine of the toughest in the game mm -hmm. that would actually represent the true um, true picture of Kenya stages. Yeah. So day one we did stages uh, in Hawke's Bay, yes. day two we did them in Monaro and day three we did them in Argentina. Mm -hmm. But uh, the stages, because even um, the first loop we put in three stages then you come into a service, yeah. then another three stages you come into service, then you do two stages service and the final stage in finish. Yeah. But uh, again if you damage your car service time was limited and then um, St times are coming in online yeah. as they come. Obviously, when the next day starts at midnight, me and Kayum used to sit back and audit results up to two, three o'clock in the morning yeah. to see that you know because we don't want any AIs or any ch any any cheating going on in the game or hacking or anything. So we, we actually from the 250, we used to sit down and you know audit each and every stage time. By the time you go to sleep, it was almost four. The first night, I think we went to sleep at five o'clock in the morning. Yes. But then as the days progressed, you know. Safari is always tough. People yeah. tend to break their cars, others retired and all that. Yeah. To our surprise, about 130 still made it to the finish. The top yeah. Kenyan was 11th, the top Tanzanian finished 16th, the top Ugandan was 12th, but the Madagascan dominated the whole thing. Wow, and we are talking about countries which actually love rallying here in Africa, Tanzania, Madagascar, Kenya. Zambia did not have a chance. Um, Zambia, unfortunately, they were busy that weekend, but yeah. we had one driver from Zambia who's actually a real uh, rally driver who rallies yeah. in Zambia as well. He yeah. was on board. We had a couple of entries from India, yeah. from USA, you know, from all over the world. Yeah. Joseph, for you, yeah. what is your end game from this? Are you expecting to transition from e-racing now to the real safari rally sometime in the future? Yes, and uh, from the beginning of the e-safari rally, actually, mm -hmm. um, because I usually go into every other event mm -hmm. as a mindset for fun, uh -huh, so yes. I don't usually finish them. But this time, because we saw how many people were driving, how many people would see the results, uh, Riaz and I, we decided that this time I was going to go slow mm -hmm. and see where I can place. So was he a navigator ready. in the game? No, no I'm just like, I was like the nicer. <laughs> okay. But yeah. we normally talk on a personal basis, day yes. to day, and everything. Yeah. 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 But it, during the game, did you have a navigator? Yes, the game's navigator. Automatic uh -huh. navigator. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Oh. So, uh, Riaz, uh, as we have been talking, I, I understand you have talked about Jean Todd, okay, talk, talking to you guys. You're talking about also the WRC course of the clerk having a conversation with you guys coming on to join you guys you yourself you are a navigator in the real safari rally you also come on to play this game let's look at it how is it interdependent of one another what have you gained more from the e-racing that you can transfer onto the safari rally and what are some of the mechanisms you have got from the safari rally you can bring on to e-racing yeah, that's a tough question. Yeah, <laughs> but, let's uh, start with the first one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. okay, from the gaming perspective, you yes. know, I, I would say I was the first ever organizer in Africa to do mm -hmm. such a thing. Yeah. With me and Kayum, we started it all off. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my, my real, uh, real life rallying experience helped a lot because having played this game, I could select the stages that were very close to Kenya as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, personally, I've spent 10 years yes. rallying, yeah. you know, and uh, I'm sure if someone continues playing this game, they wouldn't spend 10 years to reach where I was. They would do it in three years because you've already start knowing how to call the notes, when to call the notes, mm -hmm. you know, what each each uh, sign or what each call means. If, if you tell a driver double caution, right five, keep in, yeah. line, you know. So yeah. a normal person would not understand what that line means. Mm -hmm. But now having played this game, you'd know that, you know, we've got a six right titans yes. into dip and jump. So, you know, and, and when to call it. You just can't call the notes when the driver is already at that obstacle or at the corner. You, you are the driver's eyes that he cannot see. Yes. So the gaming perspective, I'm sure the whole idea for us as e-racing to introduce this gaming thing in Kenya is mm -hmm. so that tomorrow, you know, 
um, we can have a young champion that will evolve from e-racing. It could be Joseph himself mm -hmm. that would evolve and, and go ahead and win the Kenya National Rally title. Is that the vision you have for e-racing? Yes, for sure. It's yeah. just to encourage all the youngsters because most of the people have PlayStations at home, you know, Xboxes and everything. Yeah. There are a lot of people, now that WRC has come back to Kenya, there are yes. a lot of in people that are more passionate about rallying. Mm -hmm. So let's just share this passion, you know. Let's, let's just help the, 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 the game evolve us into better drivers, better co-drivers. Yeah. Joseph, finally for you, what, what, what do you make of your future in e-racing? Um, well, seeing my results on a controller, yeah. considering that uh, I was in 25th position and 8th fastest controller. That's driver. worldwide. Yes, out yeah. of all the drivers. 250 yeah. drivers. Wow, yeah. that's a big and, um, With the 8th fastest controller driver, mm -hmm. um, I'm now planning to see whether I could get a simulator. And then from there, I would like to be fighting for the top place in e-racing. Please explain to me what a simulator is. Right. So it's an actual simulation of real life rallying. Uh -huh. yes. And uh, as Riaz previously stated, yeah. that they can range from prices of 50 to uh -huh. 500,000. Yes. So the, the ones that are actual serious, which the best in the world use, is where even when you hit a jump with the rally car in the game, even the seat will jump. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm not looking to get one that high end, but uh, whatever simulator I can get, yeah. uh, I will see what I can do with it. The that. adrenaline when you're playing the game has got to be very high. It is extremely. Yeah. As, well, the fastest, I've already finished the stages. Yes. You can see each sector you've passed, mm -hmm. how far behind you are, uh -huh. or how close you are. Yes. So that gives you a lot of pump to be able to see how fast you can go to catch up with the guy. Yeah. 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 Reyes, what does the future hold for you guys as the organizers of e-racing? Are we expecting a festival to come in future where this tournament is held somewhere people can come and watch, people can come and enjoy and also learn more about the game? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, the sky is the limit, I would say. Mm -hmm. now, there's a huge uh, interest all over. We, as e racing, that is Kayum and myself, we are yeah. open to any ASNs in Africa mm -hmm. or even worldwide that actually want to come and hold the competitions, yeah. such type of competitions, because it's, you know, there's a huge, um, plus point in, in, in this gaming thing and everything. Yeah. So at the moment, we are looking at, you know, to organize the next big race. More details will be shared very soon. Yeah. Um, I mean, we don't know that what KMSF will plan and you uh -huh. know what will yeah. be the way forward. Yes. But the whole thing is is to have yearly championships yeah. where you know where you different category champions are crowned in real crowned in uh, real life. Here yes. we will also have our e racing champion that will be crowned at the end of the year yeah. and um, work together with the other ASN so that we can not only exploit the talents of here in Kenya but also within Africa. Yeah. You know, even to our surprise, our young youngest player was an eight-year-old kid from Tanzania wow. that he was playing. Okay, he wasn't that quick, but at least he was playing Being and he's an getting yeah. there itself. And he, it's not that he finished last. I yes. think he finished within the 150 position. So mm -hmm. you see, that's a big encouragement. Our oldest player was uh, 51 years old. Mm -hmm. So, and this was something that we didn't get much time to advertise about. Yeah. So I'm sure if we get the next event, will be even. We are looking at doing about getting about 500 entries from all over the world. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah. Finally, look at those cameras there. What can you tell the young people at home? Because when they look at you, you're just under the age of 20 years, you are participating in some of the biggest franchises in the world. What can you tell the young people? Um, what I can tell the young people is that the sky is the limit and this sky, this e-racing will, will get you very far if you take it seriously and do well in it. Yeah. Rias, for you, there are people now who are discovering this for the very first time, they do not know that this thing happened. How can they get in touch with you? They can get in touch through our website, you know, www.eracing.co.ke. You can see the previous competition, what has happened. You can read about the rules there. Talking of live stream, in future we are planning that all the players should 
do a live stream, but at the moment it wasn't a must. You yeah. can head on the live streaming section and actually see some of the players as they were tackling the stages. Yeah. So yeah, www.eracing.co.k, that's where all the information is. We are, we are also on social media, Facebook and Instagram, eracing, eracing KE. Yeah. You can follow us, send your messages there and we'll surely respond. Wow, we have been talking to Riaz Ismail who is uh, the organizer of e-racing here mm. in Kenya and also a young driver here in the name of Joseph Gasheshe who is also an e-racing driver here on the touchline talking to us about this new virtual game in the country that is all about safari rally but in the virtual world and that is e-racing here in the country. Let's break where what, some of the videos from the e-racing platform and what they actually do outside there. And when we'll also be having a profile interview of Lothar Matthews, the 1990 German winning captain. When we come back, it will be all about the fan zone.